darlings. They've just heard the MGM lion, Leo, let's call him, go grrr, grrr. Little did he know that he would be helping my chemistry students remember the rules for oxidation and reduction. Leo, the L means lose. E means electrons, and the O of Leo means oxidize. So Leo, lose electrons, oxidize. Goes ger, the spelling ger, G-E-R. Uh, back to Leo, sorry. Leo goes ger. Oh, here's something that used to bother me. What does that mean to lose electrons? I see electrons floating around in oxidation and reduction. Oxidized, they're on the right. They're lost. Anything that's lost is at the end of the road. They're the product. So lost electrons uh, are on the product side. Oxidized electrons are on the product side. Ger gain electrons reduce I'm just going to write that out gain for the g electrons e and r and the ger is reduced and that means the electrons are going to be on the reactant side the reactants are picking up the electrons and they're being reduced to something less in the product side. So some element on the reactant, it's changing its charge to a lower charge on the product side. And the reactant, the, I'm sorry, the electrons are on the reactant side. So there you have it. So let's see what else we know. Scrolling down now, ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Mm -hmm. I'm writing something else. Okay, so reduce and the charge goes down. I think that's going to what I'm going to write. Reduce a uh, consonant charge goes down. That's also a consonant. Charge on the element. Some element, be it monatomic, be it part of a polyatomic ion, be it part of a molecule for that matter goes down to consonants. And here's an example. Oops, no, just writing it out. Two consonants, reduce, and down, reduce down, R, R, consonants. Here's another example. Chlorine is the element. We put two, if we can force it to pick up two electrons, it'll become two chloride ions with a negative one. Extend the page. The charge on the chlorine is zero. I think I'll be writing that. And the charge in the chloride is minus one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now, what am I going to do next? What tool do I have here? Oh, oxidize. Here's the example of oxidation. And charge goes up. And I think the wonderful example I'm going to give you with tin 2 going to tin 4 is somehow going to be cut off. And it will all be kind of chopped at the end. But... I don't think I can do this one more time today. This little video is what it is. Again, two vowels. Round vowels. Round vowels. Now what's this? Whew. I don't know. Oh my goodness sakes. This is so strange. Two vowels. And uh, then, let's see. Tin. So tin plus two. Uh, plus, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's going to be oxidized. It's going to tin plus four. Plus two electrons. Let's see if it'll make it. Yes, excellent. And this is, by the way, a very, oops, well, that was a very common. Well, never mind. It's, it's over.